Hey folks, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be trying to install the master cylinder and potentially the heat shield uh, or at least uh, hang the heat shield off of uh, one side. Uh, so right now I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on here and so and what I'm going to need to mount the master cylinder. So uh, let's take a look. All right. So this is what I know. This right here, um, maybe this one. No, it's this one. One of these is a through hole. Oh, it's this one. Uh, and that's where the uh, heat shield's gonna gonna mount up. There's a seven sixteenths bolt that goes through there, long, and will go in there. And then this one right here, that's gonna be for uh, mounting the master cylinder. Uh, through the frame um, and into the master cylinder itself I believe that's going to be threaded I don't know how long that's going to be you see this down here uh, there'll be a bolt that goes through this on the front half of the master cylinder it goes through and I'll show you in a little bit uh, it mounts with the with the bolt uh, and uh, nut and all that through the frame uh, or through the bracket and on the inside of the frame so I'll show that and then uh, this is mounted on, on a different uh, threaded side of the master cylinder so uh, hopefully that kind of helps uh, but first things first I got to measure how thick this is right here to figure out exactly how long of a bolt that I need so let's 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 do it got my handy dandy calipers here so we're just gonna try to grab a pretty close uh, approximation that's right at seven so we'll need it in two and a half maybe a three inch bolt is what we're gonna need uh, two and a half to three inch. Let's see what we got and we're gonna go look in the shop and take a look All right, so we got the bolts five sixteenths by 18 and we got a three incher and I got a little helper Say hey Clarabelle hey. Yeah, and so we're gonna put that on in just a minute I'll show you how to do that and uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly and we have all the parts that we need All right, so we got our master cylinder here. This is a Wagner uh, your brake pedal uh, plunger is going to go right here to be able to actuate it. This bolt right here actually goes through the frame. This one's also going to go, or to, and then you're going to put the nut and bolt inside the frame. This one's going to go through the frame itself and screw into there. You don't even need the nut. I just have that on there because I was picking out the bolt. And then this one's going to go through the bracket and uh mount the cylinder and the bracket all together all right so now you see the bolt coming through there and let's see it from the other side we're going to hook the master cylinder on that a couple threads and then turn it from the other side all right so we're back and we're going to put that master cylinder up in there hopefully Get that thing to start. Ah, uh, yeah. And there she is. And now she is attached. All right, next up, we're going to take that bolt hole right there and mount it to the front bolt of the master cylinder. We're going to be doing this blind. So uh, we're just going to do that off camera because there's no easy way to show it and I'm going to have to just do it by feel. Okay, so I lied. There is a little gap in here. You can see it. Uh, hopefully. So I'm just lining that master cylinder up. That uh, bolt, you always want to do that while it's down because that's the only time you got space. There is no space with it 
uh, otherwise. And I actually need both hands to be able to do that, and I'm holding the camera right now, so I'm going to have to do that off camera. All right, and so we're back, and I had to get clear about or basically pull the pedal up. I had to loosen the bolt that we had tightened up too much before to be able to let this thing rotate up like that. And uh, finally, we were able to get uh, this into the boot. Uh, this piece right here, we're going to need to continue to work on to get uh, up in there. That's what we'll do here. We might need a little dielectric uh, grease if I can't get it. Again, this is probably a lot easier without uh the body on but i don't have that luxury so i'm gonna get a little grease just to be able to get that over there because it's just catchy all right so we put a little dilute grease on there and we just really had to fiddle with it for a little bit to get it to go up over there finally got it to go on was not the easiest thing in the world to do uh but it, it just took some fidgeting and so yeah now it's on all right so now we're trying to get that bolt lined up in the hole and i really can't see the hole and there it is and so we're gonna put the nut and all maybe on the back side of that that's going to be a challenge fit my hand up in there but you kind of see the idea of what needs to happen okay y'all we got that thing finally mounted up let me show you how i had to do it it is a lot harder with the body on so i tried to do it flat from the creeper uh where you have to put the bolt for the um, uh, for the bracket it's in between the frame and this little bracket and you gotta kind of get your hand in there my hand was too big and I don't have huge hands uh, to get in there while laying down I literally had to do it from this side reaching up under there and, and just kind of doing it with a couple fingertips to be able to get in there to get that bolt started or the nut and uh, lock washer started once I did I used a, a stubby uh, half inch wrench on the the nut uh, I could kind of again the same way kind of reach up in there and get that uh, of course I spun that nut as much as I could so I could get it hand tight and then I used this and uh, a quarter inch ratchet with a half inch socket on there on the other side it was just a couple clicks at a time getting it tight it was really tight up in there uh, hopefully you have smaller hands or have access to someone that has smaller hands my daughter just didn't have long enough arms to be able to reach up in there and get that done and nor the strength so uh, finally got it to work uh, to God be the glory on that uh, so uh, that's how you have to do it sometimes all right so now you can see uh that bolt right there that's our trouble bolt we got that done and i went ahead and put the bolt in on that back side just to make sure it lined up uh and i wasn't going to have to do all sorts of other calisthenics to be able to get it to go in and, and it went in uh fairly well so now i think i need to put the uh bolt in through for that with the crush washers before putting on the heat shield because so i believe the heat shield is kind of the last step in mounting all this and i believe it's just going to be in the way otherwise so um got to make a choice here on whether I'm going to replace that why uh, before I do all this or just try to do that later um, and uh, yeah so anyway 
Master cylinders mounted. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all take care.